common sense. Can you imagine when he steps down with respect? He get more much respect than what he's going through right now. Right. Uh, how about the, this? Uh, your take on the Boko Haram, uh, which wants to impose Sharia law in Nigeria regardless of your beliefs and the conflict it has created. Uh, uh, Haram, feel free to address the Darfur situation as well. Boko Haram, let me start with Boko Haram. Again, I'll, if I'm going to put a blame on somebody, I'll put the Islamic leaders, okay. the so-called imams, mm -hmm. for lack of educating the people, for them to understand. First of all, let's say my fathers or grandfather, three grandfathers, right. were Christians. Okay. It's not me alone, all Africans. Mm -hmm. Three grandfathers were not Muslims. We were all Christians. Right. I believed in Christianity. Mm -hmm. So for you, for your three grandfathers, and change you to be a Muslim, and you killing your own fellow that you, you used to be his, you used to follow his religion of Christianity. And today you saying he has to go to Sharia law. If you're educated enough, Sharia law was set up due to the condition of those people over there. Right. The condition of the people over there is, excuse me to say, un-Islamic. Men sleeping with men, killing infants, females, a lot of horrible things are going on. These are the reasons why this law is set up for them. But the Sharia law, but barbarism. Right. I'm glad you said that word. Mm -hmm. These are the reasons why the Sharia was not set up for them. So we live in 2012 with a modern civilization. How can you bring such a thing and say we need to follow that civilization when the world is advanced? The Hobo Haram or whatever the name they call them, mm -hmm. they might not be advanced in civilization. But the world is far advanced than them. Right. So for you to bring that rules and set it up, it means they're not getting enough education in the madrasa or whatever they get in their studies. If Sharia law still works, why don't the Arab Peninsula still use it? Hmm. They don't use it. Again, for our success in Africa, have to be identity of self. We have a history over 10,000 years today that still exists. If we don't go back and learn it and advance our mind, we shall always be in the condition of confused. Lord. Uh, is the creation story in Islam exactly the same as uh, in the Hebrew Torah, or sometimes called the Old Testament? And especially the Old Testament, right. a lot of similarities, mm -hmm. a lot of similarities. First of all, uh, Hebrew, Hebrew and Jewish is just a recent name they gave them. Okay. The people that went on Exodus mm -hmm. and happened to go to Europe, right. and when they came back, they start calling them Jewish mm -hmm. and Hebrew. Okay. But Abrahamic tradition has been there a right. long time, Okay. before Exodus. Uh-huh. Just like in Islam, we have Abrahamic tradition as well. All right. These are similarities right there. Mm -hmm. um, Abraham believed in the sun god. All right. That's the reason why he built Kaaba. Mm -hmm. I know most people might not misunderstand what I mean, but later on I will explain that. Right. Um, they're talking about Abraham coming from uh, all, uh, all of Jaltis or Haran. Mm -hmm. It wasn't uh, mixed people, it was an African that used to live there before Exodus. Even the Canaan, there were people there, Africans. Mm -hmm. They called them Ephraim. Right. In the Old Testament. Yes. The Ephraim people were originally the Africans who used to live there before Exodus. Right. Now, we have Abraham, uh, have a son. He has Isaac and he has Ishmael. Okay. Ishmael, he took an Hagar and left them in uh, Saudi, which is Hijaz, a city called Hijaz. Okay. And then he went back to Palestine right. with uh, Sarah. So there's always affiliation connected. The language, the looks of the people are the same, actually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They speak the same language. They might have a different, different language, but there's one particular language they speak. Ismail doesn't speak Arabic because the Arabs are the people of African Yemen side. Right. Mm. In, in Yoruba tradition, mm -hmm. right, when it comes to divination, divinity, mm -hmm. divination, they believe that except the day one is born and the day one dies, 
there is not a single event that cannot be altered. Is this similar to other religions? This is uh, one of uh, our forefathers' history that we've been, up to now, European people are uh, maintaining it. Being a Muslim, this, these beliefs have been dropped. Okay. Before that, they used to, before the pre-Islam or pre-Muslim, as I, I would say, um, there's a word called Aslam. Okay. It's an Arabic word, which basically is part of what you just explained. Mm -hmm. um, it's very superstitious according to my religion. Right. So that has been demolished as part on Islamic, where they have a tradition. Let's say if I want to get married, mm -hmm. or if I want to travel, okay, there is an further arrow that they have to put, and when it rotates and it says yes or it says no, when you say yes, it means you can go ahead and travel or go ahead and marry. Okay. If you say no, then you have to wait for another year. This particular tradition is. In Islam, it's a superstitious belief. Okay. So we forbid in that. If you're going to marry, you go marry if you think it's appropriate. If you want to travel, you travel. You do not have to depend on some Aslam to do it. It's an old tradition. Mm -hmm. That's a pre-Islamic time. Or pre-Muslim time. I don't right. like to say pre-Islamic because Islamic is old. Muslim, let's say pre-Muslim time, basically. But is there any religion that can escape, so, uh, you know, uh, what, what is that word there? Uh, superstition? No, no. To be realistic, uh, I know some Muslims might feel offended because of ignorance again. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no religion without a form of superstition. Right. All religions have a form of superstition. Mm -hmm. But when you believe in your religion, then you forget to understand it's a superstition. Right. You get my you, point? You, yeah, you try to, you try to uh, abandon that form of superstition. But there's no religion with no form of superstition. Mm. Mm. Uh, as a, an African traditionalist myself, I'm aware of the mystery system. Mm -hmm. How initiations into the mysteries are performed. And how the mysteries prepared us for greatness. You have stated the mystery system extensively. Explain how the modern world has adapted this to their advantage. Yeah, I mean, you know, our mysteries were the universities. We introduce, introduce universities to the world. Because first of all, when you go into a, you know, advanced stages, you start performing some mm -hmm. sort of miracles, mm -hmm. you know, in other way, if you even calculate mathematical figures, mm -hmm. you know, trying to draw triangles and building pyramids, those were part of the mysteries mm -hmm. of Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, my question is, has uh, the rest of the world now adapted our mystery system to their advantage? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. First of all, let's start with Freemasonry. Freemasonry, today look at America. Mm -hmm. America's success came from Freemasonry. Greek, they got it from. Where did Greek get it from? Alexandria, where did he get it from? Mm -hmm. This is a theosophical doctrine of Africans. Right. In the 8th century, and the 8th dynasty, in the first 8th dynasty, okay. there was a college being formed, or school, okay. called in the city of Anu. All right. The city of Anu, that's where they re-established their religion. And then they form a God's name by the called Ra, okay. which is the sun. Right. Every African is from the sun. Mm -hmm. Again, that's why I say I'm a flesh and soul of the sun. Right. By the sun, it means the hidden God, the unseen God, mm -hmm. the monotheism. Right. So when you talk about Abraham monotheism, that's wrong. Monotheism started on the eight, long time, thousands of years before Abraham. However, out of this theosophical uh, doctrine that Freemasonry got from Africa, mm -hmm. is one of them. And then uh, monotheism is one of them. Right. Uh, form of education and civilization is one of them. Mm -hmm. They got it from Osiris. He's the first prime individual that brought civilization to his people, mm -hmm. set up laws. Right. Uh, and then as I said earlier, know thyself, also the first school to be created on earth. Why Horus? They got it from us. You see how he benefits from them. 
they benefit from it because they acquire the knowledge and study it. We did not. Right now, today in this world, we, we tend to be imitators, imitating an imitator. Right. Even the, the thing is actually uh, it's our us. own. The Christianity, the Islam that we are so connected, killing ourselves into, actually did not derive from these people. It derived from you. Mm -hmm. But when you lack of, again, understanding where you come from or who you are, your assumption is sad. It's really sad when I talk about it. Mm. It's really sad. And by this question, I'm not saying that ancestral worship is not part of our belief system. I mean African traditionalism. But uh, propagandists label African traditionalism just solely on ancestral worship. Uh, are they trying to limit the African belief in God? No. They know. They know we are the God. Today's world that we live in, Christianity, Islam, the prayers they're doing, mm -hmm. they pray to God of Africans. Mm -hmm. See, again, this is part of, again, knowledge that we need to start understanding. Right. When we go back, let's start with the Christianity. When we talk about Christianity or Catholic, you're right. from history of their Pope, it's from Africa, mm -hmm. the Romans, so when before they became today Jesus talking about Jesus crucified and all that, what did they believe in? Murphy. And he used to be African. Right. The same applies to the Arab Peninsula. The Arab Peninsula that we have Abraham brought in, the word Kaaba didn't come from it's not an Arabic word. It's a Kemitic word. Hmm. Ka and Ba. Right. Now, if somebody is using his intelligence to take something from you to benefit him, it's all about power. Right. Do you think he's going to tell you how to do it? No, he will not reveal a secret. But there we go. Yeah. It's about power. It's about power. And, and that's secrecy. why knowledge is very important. Right. And that's why secrecy is power. That's why Freemasonry has been secretive for so long. Mm -hmm. Until now, they try and it's open. But the most secret about Freemasonry, the bottom line is knowledge. But even the, the openness doesn't mean that they're going to let uh -huh. you know. You have to do your own inquiries. Yes. Definitely. As you're well aware, sacrifice is a centerpiece of African traditionalism. Mm -hmm. Do other religions use sacrifice but don't want outsiders to know about it? Yeah. It's a sacrifice. I mean, from the, let's say from old days, people have gone far to even sacrifice human beings. Again, as part of the world civilization mm -hmm. and out of darkness, instead of doing that, you sacrifice cattle right. and stuff. Sacrifice is part of Islam. Mm -hmm. When we go to our Eid, we have to sacrifice. Okay. When somebody have a child or any celebration, we have to sacrifice. It's good to God. Right. So sacrifice has been an old tradition, very old tradition. There was a story about uh, Prophet Muhammad, okay. where his father wasn't supposed to be alive, actually. Muhammad would not even be alive. Mm. There was a time where they, they were so into the idols. Right. They had a leader uh, called uh, Amir okay. bin Luhail, happens to be a leader of Saudi, and went to Syria. Okay. When he went to Syria, he happens to got so fascinated with Syrians believe of idols. Syrians were so much into idols that cast their God. So he decided, he was so fascinated and he bought one of them mm. called Hubal. Okay. And he brought it. When he brought the Hubal, he was able to convince the people of Saudi to accept. Even though the Abrahamic tradition is still there, right. they still respect it mm -hmm. and maintain. When Abraham was there, there was no idol. When Ishmael was ruled after Abraham, there was no idol. Idol started from this king okay. who went to Syria and brought this. And people get caught up with it. 